Hatch has powerful and easy-to-use tools for manually digitizing. This course is the first of three in a mini-series where we'll begin digitizing the Hatch rows, so the one you see here. Now, we're not going to digitize this in the first course because we need to learn a few things first. As you'll learn in this course, any project starts with decisions. How will you use it? What size is it going to be? Is it within your skill range? These are just a few. You need to answer these questions before you ever start digitizing because there's simply no such thing as a one-size-fits-all design. Another important concept is that we aren't just converting an image into embroidery. Instead, we need to think in terms of interpreting it. Print and digital images can create an effect we can't easily capture in stitches, but stitches have their own properties that can't easily be duplicated in other media. So the goals of this first course is we'll begin to learn to think like a digitizer by investigating some of those decisions. We'll talk about artwork formats and styles so we can decide which one is best to work with. Now, although this course is focused on manual digitizing, we'll also take a quick lesson to look at how auto digitizing works to see what it produces. Auto digitizing makes its own decisions and they may not be what we have in mind. Then we'll move into a review of common digitizing tools and then we'll start manually digitizing the design. Now along the way, we'll cover planning and digitizing an efficient design to minimize jumps, trims, and sewing time. We always need to be thinking about how the design will sew, not just how it looks on the screen and hatch. Now of course a digital file doesn't become embroidery until it is stitched. We'll cover what to look for when stitching and why you should watch your design sew from the very first stitch to the very last. Incremental testing can be a smart step and we'll talk about why we may want to do that for this rose. With this course, you'll get eight easy to follow lessons with both text and videos. Now each one of these lessons has a follow up try it lesson so that you can put into practice what you've just learned. Even if you are very new to Hatch and or digitizing, you'll find this course easy to follow. Of course, all the necessary artwork is included, and you'll also be able to download finished versions of the two roses. We will be using these designs in part two of this mini-series, so be sure to digitize and test your designs before starting that course.